Chosen ones, this message you're about to hear is for selected few. I advise you to pay close attention and listen carefully. I stand before you, not as a mere voice, not as just another messenger, but as a vessel overflowing with fire, as a conduit of divine truth that will set your soul ablaze. I stand here, my heart burning with urgency, because what I'm about to release into your life has the power to alter your destiny forever. I stand before you because today is the day chains are broken, blinders fall, and you wake up to the spiritual truth that has been waiting to ignite in you since the day you were born. Chosen ones, this is not just a message, this is a call to arms, a call to awakening. The words you speak hold immense world-shifting power, and whether you realize it or not, you are wielding that power every second of every day. The tongue in your mouth, it's not just flesh and muscle, it is a weapon, sharp, double-edged, a sword that can cut through heaven and earth or summon hell itself. What are you doing with that weapon? Chosen ones, listen closely to what I am about to say. Stay away from idle words. Stay far away from careless speech, for the very words you utter in casual conversation can build the foundations of your future or tear down the destiny God has prepared for you. You have been chosen, hand-picked by the Most High, and with that calling comes the responsibility to speak with purpose, with power, with the authority of heaven backing every syllable. Do you truly understand the power that rests in your tongue? Look with fresh eyes at the eternal truth found in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21, which declares, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Did you hear that? Death and life. Your words are not neutral, they are not harmless. Every word you speak carries either the weight of life or the burden of death. Every careless comment, every whisper, every murmur either blesses or curses, builds or destroys, creates or crushes. Welcome to a word of wisdom. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications to keep up to date with the Word of God. Chosen ones, you are not ordinary, and so you must not speak as if you are. You must speak as those who know their words shape reality. When God said, let there be light, the entire universe obeyed, because his words were laced with authority, with power, with purpose. You, made in his image, have been given that same power. The words you speak are like arrows shot into the spiritual realm, landing in your future, creating either paths of righteousness or pitfalls of destruction. Let this sink into your spirit. You are creating your future right now with the words you are speaking today. What kind of future are you building with your speech? When you speak, are you sowing seeds of faith or seeds of doubt? Are you releasing words that will sprout into life-giving fruit? Or are you scattering words of fear, bitterness and negativity that will choke out your destiny? Your words are powerful, chosen one. They carry the very essence of creation within them. They are living seeds, planted in the soil of the spiritual realm, and they will bear fruit, good or bad, depending on what you've spoken. Every word you speak is a prophecy over your life, a declaration of what is to come. And let me make this clear. There are no neutral words. Every word you speak is a spiritual transaction. It either advances the kingdom of God or strengthens the camp of the enemy. It either calls forth life or invites death. What kind of world are you shaping with your speech? God does not speak carelessly, and neither should you. His words are always intentional, always filled with purpose. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 23 tells us, Whoever guards his mouth and his tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Your soul, your very soul, depends on how you control your tongue. This is not just about avoiding trouble in this life. This is about your eternal destiny, your divine calling. 
Words are not a game. They are the tools of creation or destruction. You must guard them with everything in you. Chosen ones, you are not like the world. The world speaks frivolously, without thought or consequence. They speak in gossip, in slander, in envy, in jealousy. But you are not of this world. You are marked by God, set apart for His glory, and your words must reflect that calling. Every time you open your mouth, you are releasing spiritual power into the atmosphere. Do not let idle words slip from your lips, for they are dangerous weapons in the wrong hands. What are idle words? They are the words you speak in haste, in anger, in frustration, without thinking. They are the words you release without intention, words that carry no life but instead fester like poison in the air. These idle words may seem harmless to you, but in the spiritual realm they are powerful agents of destruction. Jesus warned us in Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 to 37, But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. You will give an account for every idle word. Every careless sentence you have spoken will be brought before the throne of God. Do you see the gravity of this? You are called to be a watchman over your own mouth. You are called to guard your speech as though it were a treasure because it is. Every word that proceeds from your mouth must be intentional must be filled with purpose, must carry the weight of heaven. When you speak, you are not just speaking into the natural realm, you are speaking into the spiritual. Your words are shaping your destiny, they are affecting the course of your life, and they are influencing the lives of those around you. Let me tell you this, chosen one. You have the power to change the trajectory of your life through your words. If you have been speaking death over yourself, if you have allowed fear, doubt and negativity to pour from your mouth, it is not too late to reverse it. The same mouth that spoke death can now speak life. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Your words are meant to build up, to edify, to strengthen and to impart grace. That's the standard, not just for others, but for yourself as well. What you say to yourself matters. The internal dialogue you have with yourself sets the tone for how you walk in this life. Look at yourself in the mirror right now. Stand before that reflection and declare, I am chosen by God. I am powerful. I am called. My words create my world, and I will speak life, not death. I will speak purpose, not doubt. I will declare victory, not defeat. Do you understand the shift that happens when you begin to speak with intention? The atmosphere changes. The spiritual realm responds. Heaven begins to align with the words of faith you are speaking. You are a child of God, filled with His Spirit. Your words should reflect that truth. I need you to grasp this next part because it's crucial to your understanding of the spiritual battlefield you are standing on. Your words are a weapon. In spiritual warfare, it's not just your actions that count, it's your words. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17, we are told to take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The Word of God is your sword, and when you speak it, you are wielding a weapon that cuts through the lies of the enemy, through the barriers of fear, through the darkness of doubt. But hear this, your own words, not just God's Word, have power too. When you speak, you are releasing spiritual forces. This is not metaphorical, this is real. Every careless word is like opening a door for the enemy to step into your life. Every word of faith, on the other hand, is a barrier that repels the enemy, a declaration that you stand with the authority of Christ. When you speak life, when you declare God's promises, you are fighting in the spirit. You are battling against the forces of darkness that seek to derail your destiny. Your words are not just sounds. 
They are spiritual artillery in a war that is very real. And let me tell you something the enemy does not want you to know. He fears your words. The moment you begin to speak with the authority of a chosen one, the moment you declare God's truth over your life and over the lives of others, the enemy trembles. He knows that a chosen one who understands the power of their words is unstoppable. He knows that a chosen one who speaks life cannot be defeated. But the enemy thrives in the idle words, the careless speech, the murmurs of doubt and fear. He delights when you speak in frustration or negativity because those words weaken your spirit. They invite chaos into your life. Do you see now why idle words are so dangerous? Do you see why you must be vigilant about what you allow to come out of your mouth? This is war, chosen one. The war for your mind, your heart, your future is fought with words. If you are not intentional, if you are not vigilant, your careless words can create battles you were never meant to fight. You can find yourself surrounded by chaos that you unknowingly invited in through idle speech. But here's the good news. You can reverse it. You can change your world with your words. You can tear down the strongholds that your idle words have built. If you have spoken death over your life, you can reverse it by speaking life. If you have released negativity into the atmosphere, you can purify it by declaring God's truth. God's word is pure, and when you align your words with his, you purify your speech. Psalm chapter 12 verse 6 says, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. If you want to speak with power, if you want to speak life, then your words must align with his. Do you know how powerful it is to declare God's word over your life? When you speak his promises, the spiritual realm has no choice but to respond. God's word does not return void. It accomplishes everything it is sent out to do. Chosen ones, the time has come for you to walk in the power and authority that God has placed inside of you. No more idle words, no more careless speech. From this day forward, let every word that comes from your mouth be filled with purpose, life and faith. You are not just anyone, you are chosen. You are marked by God to be a voice that shakes the heavens and changes the earth. Your words are not small, they are not insignificant, and they are not powerless. They carry the weight of eternity. As you go forth from this moment, I charge you to speak as one who knows the power of the tongue. Speak life over yourself, your family, your future, and everyone you encounter. Guard your mouth as you would guard a precious treasure, because the power of life and death is in your hands. Speak with intention. Speak with authority. Speak with the confidence that every word you release in faith is shaping the world around you, aligning with God's perfect will. Remember this. You are a warrior in the kingdom of God. Your words are not just for conversation. They are weapons of spiritual warfare. You are fighting battles in the unseen realm, battles that are won or lost by the words you speak. Fight with your words. Declare victory, declare healing, declare provision, declare purpose, and watch as God moves mountains in response to your faith-filled declarations. Today, you make a choice. Will you speak life or death? Will you bless or curse? Will you create or destroy? I declare over you right now that your words will be words of power, words of life, words of transformation. I declare that you will walk in the authority given to you by God and that you will see the fruit of your speech manifest in ways that exceed your expectations. I declare that from this moment on, your tongue will be an instrument of blessing and that every idle word that once held you back will fall powerless to the ground. Walk in this truth, chosen one. You are called to speak life. You are called to declare the works of the Lord. Let the fire of this truth ignite your spirit and let it burn brightly for all to see. Go forth with your words ablaze and change your world. Speak life. 
As you take in this message, don't let it simply stir your heart and fade away. Let it move you to action. Share this message with others who need to hear it. There are countless souls who are struggling under the weight of their calling, who are battling in silence and wondering if their faith is worth it. Be the voice that reminds them that God sees them, that He honors their faith, and that the reward is on its way. If this message has touched your heart, take a moment to comment Amen, affirming that you stand in agreement with God's Word. Let this be your declaration of faith, a bold step forward in embracing the cost and trusting God for the reward. Every Amen is not just a comment, it is a statement of belief, a proclamation that you are chosen by God and ready to walk in the fullness of your faith. And for those who feel led, subscribe and continue this journey with us. God is speaking powerfully in this season and you don't want to miss the words that he is releasing to strengthen, encourage and uplift his chosen ones. When you subscribe, you are stepping into a community of believers who are committed to walking out their faith together, supporting one another through the trials and celebrating the victories that God brings. Finally, I encourage you to share this message. Don't keep the fire to yourself. Spread it so that others may be ignited with the truth of God's Word. There are many who need this encouragement, who need to be reminded that their small faith can move mountains. Together, we can light a fire in the hearts of the chosen, preparing them for the glorious future that God has promised. Let's walk this journey together trusting in God's faithfulness every step of the way. Go forth today with the knowledge that you are chosen, you are called, and your faith, no matter how small, is more powerful than you realize. Stay connected to God, trust Him in all things, and let your faith grow into something unshakable. You are about to see the mighty hand of God move in your life in ways you never thought possible. Your mustard seed faith will grow, and nothing, absolutely nothing, will be impossible for you. Let's close our eyes and pray together as one family. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, standing in awe of your majesty, your power, and your eternal truth. Lord, we recognize that you are the God of creation, the one who spoke the universe into existence with just a word. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Today we come boldly before your throne, knowing that your word is life, and the words you've given us are filled with divine authority. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I lift up every person hearing this message, those whose hearts are burning with the desire to align their words with your truth. Lord, Ignite a holy fire in their souls right now. I declare that their tongues will no longer be instruments of idle words, carelessness, or destruction. I declare in the name of Jesus that they will begin to speak life, to speak purpose, to speak faith into every corner of their lives. Father, I pray for a divine awakening in their spirits. Let them see the weight of their words, the spiritual power of their declarations. Lord, where there has been negativity, doubt and fear, I call forth a purging fire. Let your refining fire burn away every word that has ever spoken death, every idle word that has ever opened a door to the enemy. Purge it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare over every listener, from this day forward, their words will create, not destroy. Their mouths will become weapons of righteousness, instruments of your glory, and fountains of life. I declare that they will speak as you speak, Father, that their words will align with your will and your promises. In the name of Jesus, I declare that mountains will move when they speak, chains will break when they declare, Strongholds will be torn down by the power of the words they release. Lord, I pray for those who have been trapped in the bondage of careless speech, those who have unknowingly cursed their futures with negative, idle words. Break those chains now, Father. Loose them from the consequences of idle speech. 
Let the blood of Jesus purify every word they've ever spoken that was not aligned with your purpose. I declare freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare a new season of intentional speech, of powerful declarations, and of speaking with divine authority. Father, for those who will share this message, I pray a double portion of your favor. I declare that as they spread this word, you will open doors that no man can shut. You will make a way where there seems to be no way. I pray that as they share this truth, they will walk in new levels of anointing and purpose. Every time they share this message, let it be like sowing seeds of fire into the hearts of those who receive it. For those who will subscribe, like, and comment, Amen, Lord. Let your blessing rest upon them in a mighty way. I speak increase into their lives in the name of Jesus. Increase in faith, increase in favor, increase in wisdom, increase in spiritual authority. I declare that those who respond to this message will see a shift in their lives, a breakthrough in their circumstances. Let their Amen be a resounding agreement with heaven and as they come into alignment with this truth, let your hand move mightily on their behalf. Lord, set their hearts on fire. Let your Holy Spirit flow through their words, and may they never again speak without intention or purpose. I speak a hedge of protection around their tongues, that they may guard their speech and honor you with every word. Let them carry the fire of this message into their homes, into their workplaces, into their relationships, and into every place you send them. And Lord, I thank you for what you are about to do. I thank you for the transformation that is already happening. I thank you that testimonies will arise from this very moment, from this message, and from the prayers of your chosen ones. I declare in the name of Jesus that this word will not return void, but will accomplish everything you have sent it out to do. It will break strongholds, open doors, and bring life to every place it touches. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, for you alone are worthy, Father. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray and declare, Amen, Amen, and Amen. If this message has touched your heart, and you'd like to support our mission of spreading God's word, there's a link pinned in the comments below. No gift is too small. Your generosity, even just a penny, can bring hope and joy to someone's life. Thank you for partnering with God in this important work.